morning guys it is mm, way too early um monday april 21st and noble garden started today so let's move to that okay so just make sure this is working yeah you can't really see my achievement screen with this new thing so hold on and we will fix this go away there okay is that better Yes, that is better. Okay, so Noble Garden, um, go to World Events in the Achievement menu, and you need to do these eight in order to get it. Um, this is definitely one of the easier ones. It is def it is really handy to have a friend come and help you out. Um, but aside from that, it's, it's pretty easy. So uh, what you're gonna do, um, we'll just go through them one by one in order that I have them on here. So the first one that'll show up is I found one and that is to find a brightly colored egg. So where you're going to want to go um, to get all of these where all the quests are and where all the eggs show up are in the smaller towns before the big cities from each of the major starting zones. So for Alliance you're going to want to go to Azure. Actually no I will just show you on the map. So for Alliance you can go to Azure Watch, which is just outside of the Jernai starting area. You can go to Dolinar, which is just outside the Night Elf starting area. You can go to Karanos, which is just outside of the Dwarf and Gnome starting area. Or I guess, yeah, the Night Elf one is also just outside of the uh, Morgan starting area. And you can go to Goldshire, which is just outside of the Human starting area. Um, if you are Horde, I just have to, I know where, I know what they are, I just have to find them on the map. Uh, Razor Hill, which is just outside of, um, Ogremar, which gives you the Troll, Goblin, and Orc starting areas. And the next one is, where's Mulgore? Where is Mulgore? I'm sorry. Here we go. Uh, Bloodhoof Village, which is just outside of the Torrent starting area. Uh... We did Deratar. I need Emerson and Tears Village over here. Okay, and then. Uh, where are you? Falcon Wing Square. Well, that's weird. Hmm. Hold on. Sorry, Falcon Wing Square is right in here. It's inside the ruins here. Sorry, uh, it doesn't show up on here. Um, and then the other one is Brill, which is in Tearswell. And the Falcon Wing Square is just outside of the Blood, uh, Blood Elf starting area, and Brill is just outside of the Undead starting area. So that's where you're going to want to go. Pick one of those. Um, I usually recommend going to the Burning Crusade one, so Azure Watch or Falcon Wing Square, depending on your faction, because. Um, they're usually the most dead, I find, but now that WoW is getting more and more crazy, you will probably just have to run around and look. Um, pick whichever one you prefer. I've always really enjoyed the extra one. It's usually pretty dead. So that's how you get the, uh, the eggs. So that's the I found one. Next one is Desert Robe, or Desert Rose, rather. So, you need to put, get the spring robes. They cost 50 chocolates from the Noble Garden vendors, or... Um, you can get lucky and find one in an egg that you loot. Um, and you need to place a flower and you just right click the robes while you're wearing them and they give you place a flower and you need to go to Badlands, Silithus, Thousand Needles, Desolus, and Teneris. So I will just quickly pull those up. So here is... Oh man. Okay. I said Badlands is one of them, right? Where are we here? Ah, yeah, 
Sand, Silithus, Thousand Needles, Desolus, Daenerys. Okay. So. Badlands is here. So here's um, Ironforge, so just to give you some idea. Badlands. Daenerys. Thousand Needles. Uh, Silithus. Go away, phone. What was the other one? Desolus. That is also over here, I believe. Go away. Desolus. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so four of them are in Kalimdor, and the other one is in Eastern Kingdoms. So you just need to go anywhere in the desert, in the zone, and then just use the item, and then you'll get the credit, and then fly to the next one. Uh, the next one is hard boiled. So you need to lay an egg in Ungirl Crater's Galaka Hot Springs as a rabbit during the Noble Garden celebration. So you need to either get lucky and get cursed when you open an egg and then try and get to Ungoro without getting into combat and it's really hard. So what I would recommend is find someone who has the who's finished the quest, um, the great the Great Egg Hunt? No, I can't remember. Oh, brain. Why can't you brain? Where are we here? Okay, Blossoming Branch. That's the one. And you get that quest. Yeah, it is from the Great Egg Hunt. So you'll get that item from the Great Egg Hunt quest. Um, and then just find someone who's there with you and then go to Unguro and then click the item. It'll turn you into a rabbit and then just wait until your character lays an egg. It doesn't take very long. A couple minutes at most. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one is Noble Garden. Hide a brightly colored egg in Stormwind City. If you are Horde, you need to do it in Silvermoon. Um, the egg itself costs five chocolate from the vendors, and you can loot it afterwards to get a brightly colored egg. And the next one is Chocoholic, which is to eat 100 Noble Garden chocolates. You'll get one for 25 and one for 100, so you need to get both of them, but they are, they count, so you don't have to eat 125, you will only have to eat 100 total. And then Blushing Bride um, is a bit tricky. You need to make sure that you are the one wearing the tuxedo shirt, white tuxedo shirt and the black tuxedo pants while someone else is wearing the dress, but the good news is they are not bind on pickup, they are just regular, they're not even soulbound, they're not bind on equip, so you can switch them with, with another person and then just get the credit for it. But remember, in order to get it, you have to be the one wearing the tuxedo. Um, the next one is Spring Fling, which is to find your pet spring rabbit, another one to love in the towns listed below. So you can find the spring rabbit pet, which is the ear. The, no, the lucky, lucky rabbit's foot, I think. Where are we here? Spring rabbit's foot. So you can get it by an egg, or you can purchase it from a vendor for 100 chocolate, which is pretty reasonable for a pet. Um, and again, you need to find it to love in find it another one to love in each of the little towns. So go to each of the four. So again, for Lions, that's Azure Watch, Dolanar, Goldshire, and Karanos. For Horde, it is Falconwing Square, Brill, Bloodhoof Village, and Razor Hill. And um, then just go to each of the one, find it someone to love. It'll have a little heart, and this little tiny bunny will pop up, and then you can move on to the next area. And the last one is Shake Your Bunny Maker. Now this one is really tricky. But what you need to do is you need to buy spring flowers. You can get them randomly from an egg or you can buy them for 50 chocolate. And you click on them and they put rabbit ears on the character you're targeting. So you need to find a female character of at least 18th level. And you need to do that for every single one. So um, you can fly to starting areas. Well, it's at least 18th level. So actually, no, don't go to starting areas. So bigger cities, um, battlegrounds are always a good idea. Um, just make sure that you don't, yeah, that's the other thing, it's at least anti level, so you can't go to starting areas for that one. But, that is pretty much, that's it for achievements. Doing this will net you the, uh, the noble title, and it will get you one step closer to what a long strange trip it's been. We're getting very close. The only ones we have left, go back here, come on, hold the vents. The only ones we have left now are Children's Week, and then I think that's it. I think Children's Week, I don't remember if I did Children's Week or not, but it was either that or the Fire Festival. But yeah, and then we'll be done, and then I will have get, done a video for each one. There is no dungeon for, the, for this one, um, which is really nice. Um, 
And in terms of, oh, go away, no events, no garden, where are you? So you can get um, the amount for 500 chocolates. There is a tome of polymorph that you can get for a mage that is 100 chocolates. Um, the spring rabbit foot pet is 100. The spring flowers for the putting the ears on are 50. The blossoming branch you can buy for 10 if you don't want to do the quest. Um, the quest does not take very long. You just need to get a bunch of fragments and you get them by collecting eggs. Uh, the noble garden egg, which you use to hide for the hard boy, no, not hard boy quest, the noble garden quest. Um, yeah, so these different things, these are another different set that you can buy. You can get the pink and spring circlet now. But that is pretty much it for a noble garden. Um, so, yeah. That's it. Um, hope you found that helpful. Uh, the next event is Children's Week. Which starts next week. So next Monday I will do a video for Children's Week for everyone. But that is essentially it, guys. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.